All right, so we are going to reset our service accounts and Renna's accounts with the CLI and SCOM 2012. Now I'm doing this from the root management server and I'm going to stop the CS host service first, then reset the passwords, then start the CS host service. Um, I'm going to do this with the SC command, which needs to be run with the CMD for it. Other commands are done through PowerShell, and they need to be run with the PowerShell um, CLI. All right, so let's proceed with the um, Operations Manager DAS account. Management server should come back online. That'll be it. We can take a look at our DAS group. Let's make sure it's happy. All right. So far, so good. Next, we will go to the SQL Server and run our commands to reset the service account over there. And at this point, our reporting will not function, and uh, we will fix that at the end of this demonstration. All right. As you can see our management server is still healthy. Now we're going to come up back to the load script. So now we're going to finish up by doing uh, the rest of our run as accounts. We may or may not see uh, run as account failures in our Opsman console. All right, so our run as accounts have been updated.
just for safe measure. Go ahead and restart each of these. That came out just fine. As did that. And let's take a look at our console. So our management server should look healthy. No new alerts. Let me close this out. All right. Last step is to jump on over to the SQL Server. And depending upon your environment, it may be your um, SQL admins doing this for you. So we want to update our service account. And you'll notice it's going to rebuild some websites and whatnot. can also do this on the database and the execution account. So it sets a DSM and applies some other settings to the database. And finally, we'll update our execution account. All right, so now when we return to reporting, it will actually load the reports this time. One of the last steps to do here is to take our password. Revert it back. Save the template. So it's up to you um, to decide what portion of this um, walkthrough you want to use or not. You may not want to pass credentials in a script. You may only want to use the uh, you know the run as portion of this, but. This is basically a demonstration of how to change most of the uh, SCOM security settings with uh, a command line interface. Um, this is, as in a lab, you know, you want to take caution in your production environment and uh, just understand that if your scripts aren't proper, you may have to do some additional troubleshooting because you may have some accounts that will uh, be out of sync. So I hope you found this uh, video walkthrough informative and um, 
I look forward to uh, doing additional presentations with uh, PowerShell um, and how it relates to System Center 2012.